Hey guys, it's TechRan here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to connect your Xbox controller to your PC. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing we wanna do before we connect this controller to, of course, our PC is turn it on by holding in the button, of course, and just let that turn on like so. And what you wanna do next is actually push in the button on the back right here to start a Bluetooth connection to your PC. So you just wanna hold it like so until that starts blinking. Once it starts blinking, we're good to go. So now that our device is blinking, we want to take this Bluetooth signal it's sending out and send it to the PC. And how we're going to do this, of course, is by looking up Bluetooth on our desktop, which will be Bluetooth in other devices settings. Click on that. Then what we want to do from there is then add a device by Bluetooth. So we'll click Bluetooth, of course, and you should see a signal pop up for your controller. If you don't, that means there's probably something with your Wi-Fi antenna or Bluetooth antenna for your PC. If you do see it, it should be a controller input or just input or Xbox wireless controller. And you want to click on that like so, and it'll add it on to your PC devices. And that way you can use it the game on Black Ops, Halo, or really anything you want to use it for. So let me show you here. Now that our controller is connected to the PC, all we have to do is push A and then we will have access to playing PC games with a console device. Now that's pretty awesome, isn't it? Now I can play Halo, Call of Duty, Apex even, on my PC with a controller. And the good thing about this too, if you were to actually take the batteries out of this controller, or for example here, just touch your mouse, you actually switch back to your mouse and keyboard to play that way too. So if you were to now push A on your controller or any of the keybinds, it'll now go back to the controller and default whatever one you're using at that moment. And then of course, if you don't want to use the controller anymore it's pretty simple you just take out the batteries and you're all good to go and when you put them back in and turn it back on of course it'll automatically reconnect to the pc in itself which is pretty awesome but if you did enjoy this video and did find it helpful of course make sure to smash the like button get subscribed so you don't miss any more of our tech videos and of course check us on twitch we do stream there of course every monday wednesday friday the link down below to our twitch channel while you're down there if you want to ask any twitch questions not twitch questions tech questions to me feel free to until then tech grand out